Hey guys, she just wants you back with another banger video, and in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to how to survive the purge. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Uh, let's get this video to 20 likes, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Tonight is the night. All crimes are legal for 12 hours, including murder. Go, 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 let's move. People with big guns are flooding the streets. Others are sharpening their machetes. You only have a few minutes before the sun goes down, so you better get somewhere safe. Uh, so if you hear like lightning and shit, thunder, we're having a thunderstorm right now, so. Here's how to survive the purge. With unemployment rising, stock markets falling, and crime levels rising, your government was forced to come up with a desperate solution. They allow a single night when everyone is allowed to release their aggression against anyone. It will be a night of social catharsis, a night to purge your aggressive feelings. One night every year, all crimes are legal, and there are no consequences. There are no police, ambulances, or firefighters. Tonight, Everything is fair game. So how will you make it through the night? Is it safer to stay alone or in a group? How could you avoid being a target on purge night? Uh, go to another country where the purge isn't happening? Duh. And where's the safest place to hide? Step one, don't stay on the streets. Going out is not a good idea on purge night. There are a lot of dangerous people wanting to release their inner beasts so you can end up in the wrong place and get caught in a bad situation. So hurry home. You could be shot by a sniper or walk right into a booby trap. And remember that a lot of people have been looking forward to this night for a year. You can't even imagine all the things they have planned for lonely strangers like you. Step two, stay in groups. Since I mean, staying in groups is like a good thing, but like, meh. There are no police services available tonight. If you are in trouble, you can't rely on anyone coming to help you. So it might be safer not to be alone. There might be strength in numbers, so use the buddy system. Gather resources to help you survive and stay with your friends or family. Make sure the people you're with are trustworthy. Also, you might want to stay away from people with creepy masks as they've become common amongst people who are up to no good on purge night. Step three, fortify your house. That makes the most sense, right? Hopefully you're planning to hide out and not take part in the annual purge. But if you stay home, locking your door is not enough. You'll need to get metal reinforcements on all doors and windows before the crime spree begins and invest in a good security system that monitors your house then you'll know if someone has broken in so it won't take you by surprise. And you'll want to keep a weapon handy to defend yourself. Step four, be nice. Why would you be nice when someone's trying to kill you? Being polite is a common courtesy that should always be practiced. And if you're not interested in being nice, maybe the purge will get you to do that. Being mean to someone can make you their target on the next purge. So be nice to people, don't hold grudges. And the next time you're ready to yell at your employees, you might want to take a deep breath and count to 10. Step five, go on vacation. The annual purge can be a great excuse to take that vacation you've been putting off for months. Leave your country, at least for that day, and go somewhere where a purge is not happening. You'll be safe, stress-free, and probably won't feel the need to purge any violent emotions. Step six, be rich. Having a lot of money could help you afford an excellent security system, reinforce your house, and leave the country before Purge Night, and it might even save your life. In the first movie of the Purge franchise, it's clear that one purpose of the night of violence and chaos is to get rid of the poor. And just when you're starting to think of how messed up that is, you notice that, that is messed up. the clock has hit 7 a.m. and you're still alive. You survived the purge. Now you feel invincible. 
think you could survive being dropped into some other horror movies? Find out here. So that's going to be everything for this video. Till next time, peace.